Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Laura Canfield Show, the Awaken to Happiness Now Global Series. Thank you so much for being here with us today. I'm so excited. My good friend Donna Marie Hallisey is back with us. Um, and we are talking about, are you ready to be menopause free? That's part of what we're going to talk about. I know we're going to, there's always so much, but that's, <laughs> that's what our goal is today, how to be menopause free. And so part of what we're going to discuss is, you know, how does it work? How do we become menopause free? Uh, can anyone use this method that Donna Marie is going to share with us? And um, can we personalize it for our own symptoms? And does it still work if you have a medical condition? And how, how fast can you feel the results? <laughs> so I know some of you are like deep into the menopause and you don't like it and you want to get results fast. I totally get it. Um, mm. So we're going to talk about all of that and more. And um, for those of you who don't know Donna Marie, I'll just tell you a little bit about her. She is an intuitive light worker, a medium, and facilitator of transformational energy healing. And her ability to connect with spirit allows access to divine light consciousness. This includes the ascended masters, healing masters, the angelic realm, the archangels, the wisdom of, from the ancients, the high priestesses, the Celtic goddesses, and the planetary support of the intergalactic and more. Lovingly nicknamed by her spirit team as Wi-Fi, Donna Marie aligns vibrationally as a portal for spirit, allowing whatever necessary channeling is meant to come through for the collective, as well as the individual's highest good. Um, so we're going to, I was hearing some weird noise, but I guess it's okay. So that's a little bit about Donna Marie, but I want to share really quickly too, you know, I've been working with Donna Marie since, this is 2021, 2020, 2019, <laughs> at some point, at some point in 2019, and, um, and she's become a wonderful friend and I'm so glad that she's here with us today to share this wonderful information and wisdom about menopause and how to be menopause free. Now, I wanna state outright at the very beginning, this is not a medical show. You know, I'm, yes. not, I'm not a medical anything, right? Donna Marie is not a medical anything either. So we're not gonna be talking about medical symptoms per se, it's more about belief systems, energy patterns, et cetera, okay? So, just don't, don't be asking any medical questions because that's, you know, we can't answer that. Okay. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. So um, Donna Marie, <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here. And I want, I want you to start off by just sharing a little bit about menopause and why or how you started to think about menopause for yourself. Okay. Well, it was forced upon me. <laughs> it was by default. Mm -hmm. So um, what happened was I had got literally, this is how it unfolded for me. I started to get a two symptoms and one of them was uh, just change in body temperature and irritability. Hmm. And I kind of know it creeped up very slowly on me and I wasn't even aware that it was menopause. I was, you know, I was perimenopausal. So I was still getting my period. Um, what happened was I ended up going to this cocktail party and there was like a cluster of women in one, you know, and you're in someone's house and they, you know, everyone divides up in the rooms and there's this one room, this cluster of women, and they were huddled as if they were huddled around a campfire. And as I was getting closer to it, you could hear these like, <gasps> like this gasping. And I was like, oh God, what are they talking about? <laughs> it sounded mortifying, but I was, you know, it's like a scary movie that you're like this <laughs> one, you don't want to see it, but then you keep opening up to see. Mm -hmm. So I kept, hearing it feeling it and at one point I'm like okay, I'm just going over to find out what they're talking about so I just kind of came in and to the circle and started listening and these women were full-on talking about all of their uh horror stories of menopause and I just stood there and listened in complete disbelief how it, it was transformational in a horrible way and I was like oh my god like don't we do enough already as women and we do this and then we birth children and we, we let our bodies get completely distorted by the children. And then we got to find our metabolism and get our way back. And then we get that. I'm like, oh, fuck no. I was <laughs> pissed. I was so mad. I'm like, I am, there's no way. I haven't done all of this to close my chapter like that. So I went home and at that point in my life, I had just finished uh, being certified for tapping. And I thought, well, it's a belief system. Mm -hmm. You believe that you get to a certain age, you start to anticipate different feelings and emotions. And as soon as you notice one, you focus in on it and you will amplify it with your thinking. So I was like, okay, well, 
this is a no brainer then I'm going to just go and Google menopause. And this is exactly what I did. This is how this came to be. I Googled menopause and I Googled all the symptoms for menopause. So I was looking at all of them and what to expect and what da, 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 da. And as I did it, it, there was a caption where it said 10% of all women never experience menopausal symptoms. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's where I'm going. I'm signing up for the 10%. I'm not doing this. I don't want to do it. I don't want to engage in it. It's not going to even be a part of my story. And it was so, because of these nightmare stories that I had heard, I mean, <laughs> devil story. They were turned into devils, these women. I was like, this is just not good. Mm. So I was just like, no, I'm going to just let this go. And so I literally sat there and just tapped in all of the symptoms i tapped in my two symptoms and i tapped in the rest and i said this is not going to be my my reality i'm not allowing my body to respond to any of these i'm releasing all of it and i'm choosing to stay that that i chose what i wanted to be it that was it and i never had a symptom after that mm-hmm. i did it wow. one time now i have to tell you there was a conviction in me <laughs> like i heard enough to go N- no that will never happen i was just no yeah. And it yeah. was in my choice of how I chose to think and allow to be that decreed. So this is 10 years ago now, and I've never had a symptom since. I've never retapped on anything ever again. And what was funny was that I never even gave it a thought of creating a program from it or using it. But about four years ago, I was receiving a lot of women who were going through menopause And I would do, you know, I have a tap to zap. I have a program where I do incorporate tapping with spirit and they come in and clear the energy that's attached to the feeling. So everything gets cleared a lot faster. And so my team is like, you know, you should bring that thing back up and start working with these women and help them release and let go. And I was like, oh yeah, I should. And then I just kind of thought, well, I'm holding a smoking gun now because so many people I know, my friends included, just believe that it's mm-hmm. a part of what they have to go through. Yeah. And even though they'll be in an, a holistic understanding and other things, there's a lot of women that just go, no, you know, I'm just going to have to suffer like this, or I'm going to have to take, and I'm not saying there's some people that have really severe symptoms and they have to take hormonal uh, balancing supplements to get your body back in an even keel. But this is not about that. This is about rewiring the brain to not be triggered by those physical experiences Mm -hmm. and so it was really the tapping that I had learned that helped me to understand that you can rewire your brain on any belief system Mm -hmm. your brain doesn't know what is true or false it simply follows command so if we command the brain to say "Mm -mm, I don't respond to that the brain has no choice but to follow your command. So this is what I went ahead and did. I went ahead and made a program where we clear out everything. And then once you clear out the limited beliefs, then I will imprint the positive belief. So how you want your body to respond in its stead. Mm -hmm. And it is, here's, here is the clincher. It is 100% possible if you believe it to be. And it will fail you if you believe it will fail you. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying to you is this program is as efficient as you choose for it to be for yourself. And if you hold, you're like, no, I'm going to allow for it. I'm going to clear everything I'm holding onto. I'm going to let it go no matter what my body says. And you can clear it, clear it, clear it. And you align, align, align. Your body has no choice but to follow along with you. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we get stuck in belief systems. I mean, this is basically a program that you could use for any, any, any other belief system. And as you know, when I come in and do my alignments prior to coming on the call, they said to me, we know you're presenting the menopause program, but really we want to reach everyone on this call and on the replay. What we were, what we would like is to lift anybody's limited beliefs on anything they're holding on to in their lives Mm -hmm. that is not allowing them to see all of the truth and all of the all that will serve them for their highest good so when we rewire the brain 
It is to support the outcome that we want and not the outcome that we fear. Mm -hmm. And sense. so this program, yes, it is written and applied for menopausal symptoms, but it could just as easily be applied for menstrual symptoms. It could be easily applied for any kind of ailment that you would like to dismantle, clear and release. <clears throat> and people seem to have a harder time doing it when there's a physical attachment to it. Mm -hmm when you've felt the physical result of it, you know what I mean? I'm not making a crazy, like I have a headache, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like it's there. So <laughs> then they, they own it, you know? So it's yeah. harder for them to release it. So, you know, even when I was working, um, I had one client who wanted to take the program and this client was a very stubborn, stubborn person. And I kept saying to her, no, I said, I'm not even going to give you the program. It's not worth your money. You're going to, it's waste, it's wasting your money. She's like, why do you keep saying that? I really want, because I said, you don't believe it can work for you. Mm -hmm. So there's no point in you doing this. And I'll say this to anyone who's on the call right now, if you're sitting there thinking, well, this is impossible, this could never happen, you may as well leave the call <laughs> because there's nothing in here that's gonna resonate with you. This is not about believing in anything. This is about looking at your brain and what you allow it to do or not do for you and simply addressing what you no longer want it to do and redirect it to how you want it to support you and this is where that limited thinking needs to be ready to be released you can't take something in without letting go of what is not what it isn't you know what i mean like let yeah. me fix it okay well let it go let it go <laughs> and then we can but if you're going to hold on to it or like well i'm not really sure then it's going to work to you for you for that exact same Mm -hmm. equivalence you know so it's not about because i had one person it's just well it didn't work i didn't expect it to work i'm like well there you go <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like you know i'm telling everybody and this woman who begged me begged me i said no i said we really you need to believe that it's all right you can do this and that you can allow it to be and if you really hold that truth then it will work yeah. for you in that respect so i mean that's how it happened for me so it worked right away and i have to tell you um maybe two years ago I started note because the first thing that I noticed with the menopause was that my body temperature started. I didn't get any night sweats or I didn't get any like hot flashes. I just felt a body temperature shift. Mm -hmm. Like all of a sudden I'm warm and then I'm cool. And I'm like, well, what's going on? And I did notice that whenever I was really, really, really under a lot of stress, this would happen. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that the association was with stress, I then incorporated that even when I'm stressed, even when I'm vibrationally low or I'm not in my high, I still eliminate this body's reaction to it and there's something else i have to say because this is important that the body is there to give us a heads up that things are not going well okay so the body will with its own natural intelligence release anything that is not in service to you but it will keep what is in service to you mm -hmm. meaning if there's one thing that keeps coming back up and you're going i've cleared everything but that that may be because there's something that needs to have a deeper look at. Maybe you mm -hmm. need to go and see your doctor about that specific issue. And maybe there's something else underlying that needs to be addressed. Okay. And I'll say this to people because I'm like, well, if there's something that is just not leaving, go and take that, get that looked at further. Because the yeah. body is going to keep showing you something. It's because it's asking you, look at this, look at this, look at this. So, you know, it will clear whatever can be cleared. But if there are any other symptoms that need medical assistance, you know, because some people can clear everything, then if something just keeps popping back up, popping back up, by all means, go and look mm -hmm. further because the body is always giving us a heads up on what's going on. Makes sense. Yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then that's the first thing I always say when someone is having a, a physical thing, it's like, have you been to the doctor? Have you checked it out? You know, just always best to check it out first, you know, then you can discount it and say, oh no, it's just energy related or whatever. Awesome. Mm -hmm. But now, you know, mm -hmm. um, and I even say that too, when I'm seeing clients, cause I do do scanning on clients and, you know, and I, and I've had people chat to me and they say, are you a medical intuitive? And I said, no, I don't even give myself that name mm -hmm. only because I feel such a detachment when I do these scans, you know, the, the assistance that comes in that does this scanning, it's really this being done through me and they will show me physical problems or physical ailments. And they'll tell me to bring the energy and the attention to bring that, to clear that. But I will also see what they cleared, see what's left. And then I will 
tell my client, you need to go and see a physical practitioner, you know, a medical doctor and get this double checked. Yeah. You know, I see this, I feel like it's gone, but if anything recurs and I'm always telling people that, you know, like we're here to facilitate wisdom and understanding, but (laughs) your health is your health. You have to be accountable and make sure you cross you know, dot all your I's and cross all your T's. And it's a process of elimination. Mm -hmm. This is just one really way to facilitate and support your health. But when there are health issues, you also have to be, you know, wise about how you're going to go about it. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. Thank you. Um, Mm -hmm. And so, and so, you know, today we are talking about belief systems, basically around menopause, everything physical even is all related to our belief system. If I have the belief system that I have gray hair, I'm going to have gray hair. But if I suddenly change my belief system to say, nope, I only have dark hair, then, and I really believe that, then my gray hair will turn to dark. But I'm fine with my gray hair. I like it. So it's like, I'm good. <laughs> Just an example, it. right? Just an example. Mm-hmm. My mother exactly. hates her gray hair. She hates it. It's like, oh my God, mom, just like, let it go. I like mm-hmm. mine. But, but the, again, like I said, that is a belief system. You know, so my, I believe that I like the gray hair. It looks good on me. My mother has gray hair. My grandmother had gray hair. They all at the same time, whatever had gray hair. So for me, it's like, okay, cool. I'm fine with it. Right. But I don't have to be right. If I suddenly chose, no, (laughs) I don't like this, then it will change. Right. If if I reprogram my brain, my mind for for another belief system, then it will change. Mm -hmm. That's Mm -hmm. how strong our belief systems are. That, that's exactly. what I wanted to point out really quick. That's how strong our belief systems are. Very strong, but they can be changed. Absolutely. There's no question. And a lot of the work mm-hmm. that we do on these calls, personal healing calls and group calls, et cetera, is around that, right? Changing our belief systems. And our belief systems, like Donna Marie said, are acted upon by the brain. Mm-hmm. You know? So mm-hmm. it's like if we change our belief system, we change our programming then the mind, the brain has to follow that order, that command. Exactly, exactly. And I think that there are some things that we feel like, oh yeah, yeah, I can change that, I can change that. But then there are other things that you're going, well, no, like, I mean, there's medical books that say that this happens, yeah. you know? And so you, yeah, I don't want to fight with the medical books. I'm just going to say, listen, if you believe that to be your truth, it will be. Yeah. Plain yeah. and simple. And if you choose, like I did, I said, when I saw there was a 10%, I'm like, oh, that's, that's me. See, there's actually a real 10% that is logic. It's written. Yeah. I'm, I'm going in. That's my slot. That's yeah. the slot I'm going into. I'm going to be one of the 10%. And um, I'm just not going to have that as my experience. I don't want it. I feel like we've done, I've done enough, you know, exactly. it's like I'm not, I'm not doing that too. And I'm like, I'll do other things, but I'm not doing that. So, uh-uh. Yeah. And I was just so convicted in how that was not going to take place that it was just, there was no way I was going to do it, you know? So, um, (laughs) so, so yeah, that's a great point too. And this is not a wishy-washy thing. If you're wishy-washy about it, then yeah, absolutely. It won't work. Right. So you have to be firm in your belief, firm in your conviction of what it is that you are wanting to experience. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of us that were saying, yeah, I've been saying this for a long time. It's still not working. Well, then what, what part of you is still believing this reality, this, this, that, this experience that's playing out. What part of you believes in this and likes this, you know, in some way? And well, this is, you know, when you were asking me, sorry, I'm interrupting you, but yeah, when okay. you were asking me what that one question would be, that's what they said to me. Ask them to let go of the resistance because it's our personal resistance that creates the block. Mm-hmm. Resistance blocks energy flow. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it said when you want to ask to go, ask them to let go of the resistance because it's the resistance that creates the limited belief and then it's the limited belief that is being played out. Yeah. So you have to clear the resistance. So that's that's a great question. So what what is your resistance to uh, being free from menopause? What is your resistance? As I'm asking all of you here today. What is your resistance? What is that thing that's coming up when we talk about, yes, it's possible for you to be part of that 10% who do not experience menopause, menopause symptoms, right? So what is mm-hmm. that resistance that's coming up for you? Right, type in the chat or, you know, uh, raise your hand. Um, so we, of course we have questions, right? And so we are gonna take questions. You can raise your hand or you can type your question in the chat. But like I said, again, we're not doctors. So this is not a medical type of- Yeah, I'm not giving a medical, yes. Exactly. Okay, but, 
but you know, we'll see what we can do. All right. So, um, all right. So do you want to take a question? Questions? Well, you know what? Before I do a question, what I'd like to do, because you know, I always do like an activation before we start. Yes. Actually, I'm going to ask if please, please, Rosemary of the Berkshires can turn her thing to like no picture because it's flashing like this and it's very distracting for me. I don't know. It's like it's going in and out of the light. I don't know yeah. if she could just place it on something that stays fixated. Oh, perfect. That's good. Rosemary. Thank you, Rosemary. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Because it keeps going boom, 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 and it's like pulling me over to it. And I'm like, yeah, mm. yeah. I don't I know why, but it's like distracting. It's been distracting. Yeah. It has okay. Um, yeah. So what I would like to do, uh, since we always do this and I always do this on any of the summits is I'd like to just be able to um, do an activation. So when I was getting ready. Oh, right. Thank you. Okay. They're going, don't forget to mention this. So there's something I have to mention first. Okay. Yes. Cause they had me write it down five minutes before I came on. They're like, we have to add this. I'm like, okay, I'm going to add this. And then we're going to do the activation. Cause they said, you know how they work for me. Like I'll have a telesummit and they will have way in advance what they're going to do behind the scenes on the telesummit. And this is the way my team works. It's incredible how they work. And I get feedback again and again and again on people who listen to the call or listen to the replay. And they said, oh my God, this and this and this happened. And it had absolutely nothing to do <laughs> with what the call was about. And this is always my team. And they always say, we're going to come behind the scenes and facilitate whatever needs to be facilitated for those that we can. So there's always extra stuff, unforeseen, unseen stuff that is happening and taking place. And I always bring them forward and it is always for the highest good and always within the parameters of what you're capable of receiving. But they always take this opportunity, always, always, always to be in service and support. So I love that. So while I was getting into my alignment for the show, they said to me, yes, we know you're doing it on, you know, the uh, menopausal, but really we're going to go in and work on everyone who is still challenged with limited beliefs. And the reason being, once again, there is an ongoing theme from 2020, 2021, and it's, there's an, it's in a continuance of people having a hard time coming to the grips of their own truth stepping into their own truth, their mm -hmm. own reality, their own sense of worth. And there's been so much stuff pushed on to people. It's been very disorienting. So they really want people to let go of limited beliefs or false beliefs so that they kind of step back into the attunement of their own wisdom. This is what my team has been asking me to bring to every single telesummit that I have been on to date. Give us the opportunity to bring everyone back to their own power. And it is through resonance, something that you hear, something that you connect with, something that makes sense for you. And that resonance can return you back to your wisdom. And it's going to be through your wisdom aligned to your spirit that you reclaim the governance that your soul needs to move through everything that we are living and experiencing as independence and as a collective. Okay. So they're here to really be in service to you. So when they're going, Sorry, we're not taking away you know, from what it is you want to do, but we are most definitely coming in to release any limited beliefs because as we release the limited beliefs, we release what is holding us back from connecting to your wisdom, what resonates with the truth that is you, okay? Because mm -hmm. you are more powerful than you know you know more than you know and when you move and align from that place it is the governance for your soul and your own journey and it gives you the ability to decipher outside information with more ease okay so this is what they have been on a journey with for the last year and a half and i don't think it's going to change <laughs> to be honest till everyone's in their saddle. Yeah. So what they did want me to mention, and they had me write it down. June is a super, super, super power packed month. We've had, well, the end of May, we had a lunar eclipse. And then in June, we had on June 10th, we had a portal that was open, opening up to the summer solstice, which was amazing. Yesterday, we had a grand trying a water trying okay on june 21st and this is when venus trines with neptune and this opens up the gates of imagination and creativity with an incredible magical boost so i love that 
we're coming in with this mm -hmm. and allowing that vibrational energy, whatever imaginative, creative imagination that you can use to allow this to work for you and facilitate for you for your highest good. It's fantastic. That was yesterday that the trine, the water trine opened up. Today, June 22nd, Mercury stands direct. So that's a blessing. Mm -hmm. Mercury is no longer in retrograde. It's sitting. It's sitting for a bit. So it's going to bring everything down to a bit of a, again, then on Thursday, we've got the strawberry full moon and the full moon is bringing in major ambitious vibration. So any projects that you want to get started on any uh, things that you're thinking of doing and initiating it, it's got a lot of force with this moon. So June <laughs> is a spectacularly vibrational through the month, but it's all really, really, really good vibratory energy that is here yeah. to facilitate and support and even last night i was looking at the moon in the sky and um that grand water trine there was a pink and yellow golden glow all around the moon and it felt angelic like angels were faces were coming through the moon and i was going up the stairs and i saw it and i was like oh my god <laughs> like, and i'm like Okay, is that the, you know, sometimes you think it's the, the window that's the yeah. lighting is affecting it or reflection or something. So I actually went outside. I'm like, I got to go out and, and see with nothing in between us. And it was absolutely beautiful. And you could feel this presence coming through the moon. And I'm like, there's just so much energy that is being vibrationally lent to us to serve us and support us. The sun codes coming in, the reactivation of our sun codes with the solstice. There has been PowerPoint after PowerPoint after PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. So it's to just always, again, they're saying whatever we can let go of in terms of a limitation that allows us to vibrationally open up to receive. This is only going to facilitate more for us. You know, when more we let go of our carbon densities that weigh us down, we make space through our lungs, allowing us to move into a higher vibration. We can grow into our own ascension and whatever that means for us. So we all move in our own, what is, you know, what can, we can hold space for, but we want to allow for the expansion so that we can move into the vibratory support that's going to facilitate our lives and our shifts, our transformation. This is an incredibly transformative times. So they're trying to help us move through more ease because there's so much dis-ease in the outside world. They're trying to bring you back to the inside world where you can align to the ease that is you. That's what they wanted me to say. Beautiful. Okay. I love it. Yes, it is definitely yeah. a powerful time. Absolutely. Yeah, thank we you. We really are. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're blessed, you know. I know it's crazy, but we're blessed to be here to experience and witness this. And we've chosen, apparently. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, that's for sure. So, you know what? Let's kick up our heels and have fun. Um, okay. So we're going to just do an activation to just allow for any limited beliefs that we're holding on to. And please don't go into your head and make a list of what you think you need to let go of. You don't need to do that spirit, whatever you really to release through the breath spirit will gently clear and release. Okay. Mm -hmm. And your body will never let go of anything that will be in service to you. Just know that. So you're not saying try to let go of this, I, just say whatever's no longer in service to me, we're going to let it go. Okay. If you can have your two feet on the ground, I prefer that because they're going to come through the crown chakra and pull out through the soles of the feet. And if you can, and you want to sit cross-legged, then it's going to come through the central column. I always like the feet on the ground because it's more grounding and we are, we need to be grounded even not, more so now than ever before. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to ask everybody to take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Deep breath in again through the nose and out through the mouth. And we're going to do one more really gentle breath in. Allow it to expand through the lung, ca lung cavity. And then gently release it and let it go through the breath. Father, Mother, God is meant and appropriate. We call upon each and every person on this call and the replay, their own team of healing masters, guardian angels, designated light workers. And we ask that they step forward on their behalf, always within the parameters of what they are capable of receiving and always for their greatest and highest good. Also asking for the permission of the violet flame that it be placed behind each one of them with their permission. And we ask for the interdimensional light working systems to be blessing, healing, clearing, and transmuting 
all thoughts, worries, fears, or emotions, anything that they are holding on to, anything that is taking space within them, lowering them, depleting them, and not allowing to them to step into all of their light, all of their wisdom, and all of their clarity. It is safe now to bless it, heal it, clear it, transmute it, release it, and let it go. So everybody take a deep breath in and breathe that out. Give myself permission to release and let go of all that I'm holding on to, any limited thoughts, limited beliefs, limited fears, limited worries, anything that is taking space within me, depleting me vibrationally, conscious or subconscious, not allowing me to step into all of my light, all of my clarity, all of my truth. I choose not to address it, bless it, clear it, transmute it, release it, and let it go. Breathe it out. It's safe to let go of all belief systems, limited belief systems that no longer serve or support me or my evolution or the expansion of my soul's essence moving into the highest vibratory capacity that I'm capable of aligning to now. Anything that is not allowing for this, this stopping, blocking, or preventing this from happening, patterns of self-sabotage, imprints, karmic energy, past lives energy, anything that I'm still holding on to that holds a vibration that does not allow me to create and allow for all the expansion that is needed, safe now to bless it, heal it, clear it, transmute it, release it, and let it go. Letting go of all limited beliefs and any resistance, conscious or subconscious, that is not allowing me to come into the full light of all that I am and receive all that is meant and appropriate for me for my greatest and highest good. It is safe now to bless it, heal it, clear it, transmute it, release it, and let it go. Take a deep breath in. Clearing, transmuting, and releasing. Safe to let go of all resistance. And as I do, I open myself up to receive all that is meant and appropriate to receive for my greatest and highest good by reconnecting and aligning to my soul's essence, my higher self and the truth that is me and allowing the wisdom that I contain and all that I have come to live, express and experience through the divinity of my own soul. I choose now to step into all of my light and live the full expression of all that I am free of fear. And so it is. Take a deep breath in, breathe it out. And there we go. Let it go. And just drink a little bit of water. It's going to help you <clears throat> move the energy through. Mm. So good. All right. So there we go. Awesome. I just softened everybody up. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yep. And you might still be feeling it. You might still be processing and mm -hmm. releasing. That's okay. Just keep breathing um, and drink water like Donna Marie said. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. There's still some clearing happening in my throat. So it's mm -hmm. all good. <laughs> and I kept having my throat getting, uh, I was, <laughs> when I was going on my alignment to come in for the call, I kept not being able to breathe properly. So it's about clearing, you know, the throat chakra and <sighs> the belief systems, uh, safe to be heard, safe to express safe to, you know, have the ability. Also there's, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's showing me thyroid issues. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So actually they're showing me, um, hormonal imbalances. Mm -hmm. Okay. So mm -hmm. just take a deep breath in for that too. And clearing and transmuting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you do any yawning, if you feel any energy moving within you, just give it permission to allow it to go to the places that need to be addressed where the energy is allowed. You're giving it permission to be cleared and released. Okay. Um, try to stay out of your head. <laughs> I always say that when I have a client, I'm like, if I could just take your head off and put your heart up in your head, this would be so much easier. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because your heart has such clarity. It really does. And when we step into our heart, everything is comes from such a place of clarity and awareness and certitude your innate knowing that's what your heart is it's aligned to your soul and your soul's essence so your soul is here fully cognitive of what it can live and express and experience is to get out of the head the limited or false beliefs that are really holding you back from claiming all that you are mm -hmm. you know for whatever reasons who cares what the reasons are just let them go <laughs> that's what i say doesn't matter where it came from just release it release exactly it, release it. you don't have to understand it you don't have to know just let it well you have to know a little bit but let it go you know yeah but you know i'm gonna tell you alara in the last year the energy is just moving so fast now that i even i when i would work with a client i'm like well they want understanding and they go that's an old paradigm it's an old way you don't need it anymore just lift it up and allow us to take it because the more you try to make sense of it, you hold it down in the third dimension where you're struggling with it physically. They're going, there's no need for that. Mm -hmm. If they release it and they no longer hold the vibration, they'll no longer feel it and it will be done. 
And the yeah. minute they're not holding that vibration and they're not feeling it, then they're in that vibratory alignment. It, it is gone. So it's a concept that it has to make sense to us. And this is where they have been telling me, no, it doesn't, <laughs> like, it doesn't have yeah. to make sense. Let us just take it away. You're going to feel the sense when it's been released. But the more you try to have it make, you know, logical sense, the longer you're holding onto it and struggling with it. And they're always like, release the struggle, you know, release mm -hmm. the needing to know, needing to understand, because it's actually when we release the needing to know and release the understanding, we're not attached to it anymore. We're not attached to the outcome. That's actually mm -hmm. when the, all the understanding actually comes in and things become clear for us. You know, the clarity is there. So it's yeah. in the release and letting go that we actually allow for the understanding that we need to or not need but it will help us facilitate you know that understanding that clarity yeah all right awesome good okay cool linda let's hope we can hear you because i'm not sure can you hear me yes i can hear you don't move don't move don't touch anything don't do anything just talk i'm, I'm not even gonna be breathe if i can help it <laughs> <laughs> no no you need to breathe <laughs> i agree with you because um, the first time I had uh, menopause symptoms, I was 49 years old. I had a really bad hot flash. I went outside, 10, believe, 10 degrees below zero, took my socks and shoes off, walked in the snow and said, that's enough of this stuff. Excuse me. <laughs> what, what after that? So, but I figured out that if I stay away from sugar, like after five, four or five o'clock at night or something, then I never had a hot flash again. So I just really, uh, I'm having trouble with my um, my my thing. Okay, there we sorry. go. Um, and so I just decided that that was it. I I was tired of it. So my question is, um, what would the statement be to release um, the weight of you know the menopausal symptom? You know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and I'm um, right there on, with that on that page with you. So again, what that weight gain is is a slowing down of your metabolism. So it's not just the slowing down, but it's your lifestyle. Like, look at what you're doing to keep your metabolism active. There are certain foods that you can eat that maintain and activate the metabolism. There's also certain exercises that you can do to activate your metabolism. So you know. <laughs> I always say this to people, you know, we do age, okay? We are going to physically age and there are certain things that happen with that physical aging. And, you know, you'll have a doctor say, well, it's normal for your metabolism to slow down. Okay, that's fine. I just don't want mine to. <laughs> so it's to take the proper measure that's going to activate. And, you know, they say, oh, you know, once you're over 40, it's a lot harder to lose weight. Well, it's only because of your metabolism. So there are so many um, health practitioners out there now that are giving programs to women over 40 where the metabolism is slowing down and they're giving you really good, healthy uh, regimens of how to eat that will raise your metabolism. And so then, of course, you start burning more fat and there's foods, foods to eat exercises also to do and when to do them and how much to do so it's not about draining your energy but about using going in with awareness okay so that is definitely one side of it and of course in the program that i have we also that's one of the points that we talk about is to address anything that you're holding on to that you feel is not in alignment with how you want it to be and to clear it release it and let it go so there's all, you know, for every problem, there is a solution. This is true for everything, right? So it's to just look at, say, okay, you know, you're saying I can't get rid of my belly fat, but then I'm going to say to you, what are you doing to get rid of it? Oh, are you asking me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I exercise almost every single day. Um, and I've been trying to eat more like avocados and stuff like that and greens and try to stay on the healthier side for that. Mm -hmm. But I've tried for many years and, and I, sometimes it's more exercise, sometimes it's less, but I try to get my steps in and everything else. So I don't know. Yeah. But you'll hear a lot of people, even Dr. Gundy, he talks about this all the time. He had a major weight issue 
he did everything. He jogged, he exercised, he dieted, and he never lost his weight. And then he looked at what his metabolism was. He looked at a lot of people don't get their blood work done. It's the number one thing. I have a friend of mine, she's in the homeopath, Donna Dussain, an amazing, amazing, talented woman. And she's very intuitive in picking up what your issues are, but she will tell everyone who comes to see her where they have a low metabolism, there's any hormonal issues. She goes, you need to do blood work because very, very, you know, your stomach is your second brain. Okay. And if you have a leaky gut, if you have food intolerances or food allergies, this is definitely going to impact your adrenals, which then are going to impact your hormonal system and it will impact your metabolism. Okay. So to activate your metabolism, to get it running for you, you would need to be on the proper regime and the proper kind of exercise. And you see it now all the time on Instagram and on YouTube, all these different health people who are now showing you how to do maybe 20 minutes of exercise, but it's targeted exercise for women that have this issue. But I'm going to tell you from everybody that I've worked with, almost always it's a it's a stomach issue, a digestive issue. So if you're doing all the exercises and it's not working for you, Linda, then reach out to someone who is doing exactly that, teaching women of a certain age whose metabolisms are slow and how to reactivate your metabolism because there's tons and tons and tons of information out there and it works, it really works. It's just a different mentality on how to address it for you. But even before that, I would recommend, and this is just a recommendation, I'm not saying this is what everybody needs to do, but if you're having any kind of digestive issues, I would do uh, blood work for food intolerances or food allergies, because if you keep ingesting something every day that is creating inflammation in your intestines, it, it just, it'll go to the stomach, but then it's going to start to seep into other things as well. And inflammatory issues are big with women in menopause, and it's often food related. So I would just say to, you know, speak to a, a health practitioner who deals with that and change your diet routine and change your exercise routine to a routine that's in alignment with that, that need. That's okay. what I would suggest. Okay? Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Linda. Okay. So, and I'm sure if other people have that same question, you know, regarding um, weight gain, et cetera, look at metabolism, look at the food, look at the exercise, you know, et cetera. What it's kind all of affiliated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Caroline. Hi, Donna. Hey, beautiful. Hi, hey. beautiful. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi, Laura. Hi, everybody. Um, any more resistance after this uh, releasing? Because I still have a me. lot of hot flashes. <laughs> What's that? I said, you tell me. That was going to be the question. What am I resisting? Okay. Because I've been up since 2.30 in the morning, literally, with hot flashes all night. So, okay. But when I had my hysterectomy at 32 oh. and I'm 58 next month, I, it, I was dumbfounded when I started getting hot flashes because I was, I'm never having this because now I've had a hysterectomy and I, I'll never, I didn't believe it at all that I would ever have hot flashes or any menopausal symptoms. Are you and, taking anything for your hormones? Any no. supplements? No. You do need to. They're saying she's got a hormonal imbalance. Okay. And so, you know, and whenever you have any kind of physical changes, always go and see a doctor to say, this is what's happening. This is what's I going have. on. And rule out, rule out what is physically not there. So then you can look at a holistic way of, because I always like combining the two together. Okay. Really important to combine the two together, but you want to rule out any medical problems. So they're saying hormonal imbalance. And I feel like they're going like this. So it's just something that needs to be tweaked for you. I don't feel like it's a big thing. I mean, I have a friend who has taken hormonal imbalances and it took her about five years before she nailed it to what was right for her. It's a very tricky thing. And what works really good for one may not work at all for the other. So you may have to try different things before you find the right one they keep showing me a cream no i don't i was anything. just gonna ask you if it's the cream that i've already asked my doctor for okay because they're showing me a cream on the arm and it feels organic or it feels like very it's not high in medicine but there's some mm -hmm. oh huh i 
actually, you know what they're just saying? That there's a CBD oil that you could use for this also. Well, an oil that you rub on. <laughs> oh, to rub on. Okay, because I, I was, yeah, because I did try the they CBD to ingest. something with CBD oil that could work as well. But they just went like this. They were rubbing something on your arm. They're saying she's tried a few things. She hasn't hit the right one. There's a bit of a tweak for you. You just need to tweak something. And I also feel that there's something that you're eating that's Im impeding your sleep. Mm. Yeah, something that you eat that's impeding your sleep. And it's an, it's an unusual, you would never know about that. It's kind of like that, but um, yeah. Is it garlic? Do... No. Because okay. at night I try to eat light, but I have a lot of garlic in my salad. My salad comes from my garden. Hold on. Your system feels tired to me, like yeah. taxed, okay? Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of internal inflammation and it's affecting your digestive system. It's also affecting your hormonal system and it's affecting your sleep system. It's all aligned. You're not gonna like this, but it's based and rooted in anger. Mm -hmm frustration okay. self-imposed by the way mm -hmm. angry with myself that i'm not here yet didn't have that yet not there yet there's a lot of anger issues and resentment and it's like um this is what they're showing me like a a, a, a coke bottle and you know when you're taking the cap off with those old yeah and it's like this is what i'm seeing and then, then they're showing me look this is all the steam the inflammation that she holds on to. So I feel like it's, well, you know, it, always emotional and physical, they go hand in hand, but there's this repressed anger and it's, you don't express it, but you swallow it and the body is inflamed on the inside. And I feel like you've been swallowing this for so long. It's kind of like been a, you know, when you play pinball and it hits all the different ding, 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 ding. That's what they're showing me. They're like, and it affects that and it affects that and it affects that. And I feel like your whole body needs a rest and a reboot. So if you were to do, um, well, you need to do something to clear all of this inflammation, first of all, but before don't take any remedies until you clear it emotionally. You oh, need so silver, collo collodia silver. Collodia help? silver is great, but okay. it's not great for everybody. Okay. So it's, and, and it's the amount that you take too. So you have to be careful. I always say go and see a naturopath or a homeopath. Mm -hmm. I and did. Make sure that you get the right amounts that are for you. Okay. But this inflammatory energy is old residue of emotions. And it's just, because you're, I'm feeling you like your body is tired on the inside. I feel like you wake up and you have your coffee, then you have another, like you're waiting for your body to come to come to life again. Whatever you do is like you're waiting for it to wake up. Come with me. <laughs> I'm physically up. Come on, let's go. You don't have that go go juice or that energy. And it's because your body's depleted. And I also feel like you really lack a lot of minerals. Your minerals aren't being absorbed and you need to be careful. They're showing you your bones. Be careful of your bones because the energy or the vitamins are being leached out and they're not going, they're leached, the vitamins are being taken from your bones. There's a leaching that's happening with your bones. So you need to check your bones and your bone density. I feel like it's shifting and it's because you're not getting all of the vitamin nutrients are not going into your digestive system. They're not going into your blood. So I feel like they're leaching on your bones now for the vitamins. Okay. So your whole internals need a break. You need a break. So I would say, you know, uh, clear the emotion, the resentment that you're holding on to, and the anger of how you thought it was going to be or how you wanted it to be. Okay. And just let it go. Honestly, <laughs> Carolyn, it isn't, it hasn't. Release it. And from where you are, I allow for this, I allow for this, I allow for this. Just don't hold that anymore because you are keeping it on a vibrational level and it's diminishing your receptivity to receive. Also, I feel like you're having a hard time even moving into a higher vibration because your body's heavy. It's heavy. Okay. They're just asking you to take a really nice deep breath in. Close your eyes. 
And I'm going to ask every single person on the call. This is really the call. This is going to be good for every single person who is holding on to any kind of resentment, anger, whether it's self-imposed that they're holding for someone else, but they're still keeping it in their thoughts because whatever we hold in our mind, we hold on a vibrational level and we also hold within our organs and the vibe, the cellular, it's on a cellular level. So it's moving through our vibration all the time, whether it's repressed or not, it's still impacting our vibration. So it's for you to just give yourself permission. Anything that I'm holding on to, any anger, grief, hurt, sorrow, resentment, frustration, disappointment in self and in others that is taking any space within me, conscious or subconscious, that is impacting or affecting my cellular structure for full and complete, vital, balanced and harmonized health. I choose now to be cognitive of all that I may be holding onto that no longer serves me. And with my soul's permission, I choose to feel safe, to let go of all that I'm giving space to, all that is taking space, anything that is affecting, impeding my hormonal imbalance, my hormonal balance, and that is creating a low vibratory alignment with cellular structure that no longer supports my happiness, health, and well being. I choose now to bless it, heal it, clear it, transmute it, release it, and let it go. Take a deep breath in. Feeling safe to let go of all anger, all frustration, all resentment in any place within my body where I hold on to any inflammation, any inflammatory feelings that I have repressed over time, or actually for any other timeline, anything that is not in alignment with the truth and the alignment and the light and the vibratory alignment of who I am and all that I am capable of being. It is safe now to bless it, heal it, clear it, transmute it, release it, and let it go. Breathe it out, breathe it out, breathe it out, breathe it out, all that is not mine. Clearing and transmuting it, clearing it and transmuting it. Safe to release, safe to clear, safe to let go, safe to trust. Ooh, this is a big one, guys. Safe to trust that I will be well, that all will be well, that all will unfold exactly as it should in perfect timing for me. Whatever energy is stopping, blocking, or preventing that is safe to bless it, heal it, clear it, transmute it, release it, and let it go. So breathe that out, breathe that out, breathe that out. Okay. What, yeah, the head really blocks us. So what I think is supposed to happen, what should have happened, what didn't happen, get out of your head. Breathe it out, breathe it out, breathe it out, breathe it out. Releasing all structuring, all patterning, all limited thinking, all self-imposed thinking, all thinking that is imp imposed upon me, that is not mine, that I carry, that I hold on to, that is taking space within me, that does not serve me. I bless it, clear it, transmute it, release it, and let it go. And as I let it go, I choose to align to all of my light, all of my clarity, all of my wisdom, and allow my body the permission to heal, to realign, to reset and rebalance in full and complete health. As I let go, I allow for this breathe out. And that was breathe in and breathe out. Clearing, 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 clearing. Safe to let go. Yeah, just say it's safe to let this go. Safe to let this go. Yeah, it's just safe to let this go. Your body needs a rest. It really needs a rest and it needs a reboot. Before you reboot it, it actually needs to be recharged. You don't, everything that you're going to do, Caroline, do it with softness. Okay. If they say you need to do this and this and this, don't do everything all at the same time. You do one, you complete it. Then you go to the other and you complete it because your, your body's tired and it can't take a whole, okay. It's too much. It's going to actually knock you down lower. So slow and steady wins the race for you but you really need to change your mindset and start dictating to your body how you want it to respond and and love it love it because been a lot of harsh words and they're they're engulfed okay all right yeah thank you yeah you're welcome sweetie so i hope that helps everybody who's holding on to any kind of anger or frustration or resistance that's just you know and how I say it is what it is mm -hmm, absolutely <laughs> and then I go like this <laughs> let it go thank, thank you Caroline that was great yeah um nice. so yes we're gonna take some more questions there was uh Rosemary of the Berkshires you put a question in where is uh, Rosemary of the Berkshires oh I see that woman <laughs> <laughs> her video's off but 
you can start your video again since we're not, you know. Uh, but she was asking about any healing for postmenopause lady parts dryness, which makes intimacy painful. Mm -hmm. And um, that's in the package that I'm that I'm sharing today. It covers okay. everything. Can I please talk? So need to one second. Need to uh, need to have a question. I'm just I'm just going through the thing. Um, Eve as asking, what do I do to stave off the rise of heat in my body and the sweating and how to realign my lower chakras? How to realign her lower chakras? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I would just do a full chakra alignment, you know, so there's a lot of meditations that she can do. And the lower chakras is usually more grounding. You know, you want to ground the energy in. Um, rebalancing your, I'm just showing me right now as she's talking, it's a rebalancing for her two ovaries and the two ovaries for her is the masculine and the feminine. Okay. Divine masculine, divine feminine. There's a bit of a tug of war in there for her. So there's an emotional resistance. There's also a resistance in her creativity or a creative block. It feels like, okay, it was like something just, you know, when you put a cork in it, put a cork in it. So I don't know if everything just stopped sexually for her <laughs> or something was just like, went like that. But again, this is emotional. It's an emotional thing. It has to do with masculine, feminine, giving and taking, giving too much. It's tired of giving. There's a lot of that that's wrapped around that for her. So what happens is when we hold on to these feelings, these emotions, and these resentments, they're going to build up in the organs that are synonymous with that vibrational energy. Like I was working not long ago with a woman who had a lot, was dealing with a lot of vaginal dryness. <laughs> and she's like, I can't have intimacy without it hurting me. But her hu husband had gone through a, uh, uh, he had an affair. And mm. when she found out about the affair, that's when the dryness started. Yeah. And she doesn't want to let him in. And this yeah. is, she uses it as, I said, you're using it as an excuse and you think it's not your excuse. They will look, see, I can't. <laughs> But I go, it's like, it's your punishment. So we have to clear, you know, there's always something emotionally connected to whatever we're feeling. Now, I'm not saying that your body isn't going through certain variances of uh, hormonal reactions to the shifting and changing of your age and where you're landed. But if you are having a severe reaction to in some way and it's repetitive, there's definitely going to be an emotional impediment with this as okay. well. So I always say to everybody, get checked by a medical doctor to rule out any medical problems. And then let's come back and look at what you're holding on to emotionally, because it's definitely impacting those organs. Mm -hmm. And dry, dryness is a big one. As some women just don't want to have sex anymore. Like I had yeah. one woman who used to be so sexually active and she loved sex. And then all of a sudden she's like, no, I'm done. Shop is closed. And I'm like, wow, I'm so shocked to hear that from you. <laughs> and then she's like, yeah, I'm tired of giving to her. It represented giving. And I'm like, well, <laughs> but you enjoyed it. You know, you received it. She's like, no, I was always the giver. <laughs> she, she said, anyways, I'm dry now. So I was like, she pulled the plug. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm like, well, do you want to read? And she goes, nope, nope. I'm like, see, oh. so it was, it was her choice, you know? It was yeah. her choice, but she was cognitive of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But sometimes we do it subconsciously for other reasons. Yeah. And I'm not saying that it's like that for everybody. Every person has their own individual, you know, you're, you are an individual. So there's going to be different things for you, yeah. you know? Absolutely. So I can't say what it is or isn't, but in the program, can we talk about the program for a little bit? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So the program that uh, Donna Marie is going to be talking about is available at alara.at forward slash show forward slash Donny six. And I'll put the link in the chat as well, but go ahead, Donny. Okay. So the program is going to be divided into two zoom calls. Okay. So they're going to be two 90 minute zoom calls and you are going to receive all of the topping, the topping statements that I created for the menopause free. We're also, so that's, so in the first call, you know, I'm going to write it down because I wrote it down. I'm like, a, you got to make sure you say this properly. Okay. So in package A, you get two Zoom calls of 90 minutes. Okay. You get the tapping statements for menopause and 
in the package B, you get the exact same thing, but you can also get a one-on-one -on -one with me. So if you have any really severe issues that you want to clear and release in the lift and shift to transmute that and release it so that you can use these and they will be, you know, anything you clean up, then you can take in and receive to a better, better support for you. So if you feel like you have really particular issues that you want to clear, then I would take it with the one-on-one. -on -one. But if you don't, you say, no, nope, just a regular old menopausal thing. Then you can do the two Zoom calls. In the Zoom call, I'm going to just explain to you how the reversal and the rewiring of the brain works so that you really have an understanding of what it is that you're doing for your body. And then we're going to imprint all of the clearing. We're going to not imprint. We're going to clear all of the statements that you're holding on to. Uh, the, sorry, my tongue is like, they're going, little twist light. In the statements, we're going to lift and clear all of the um, symptoms that you're having. Okay. And then you're going to learn how to do it. And then we're going to come back a week later and we're going to imprint everything that you want it to be in its place. So I'm going to let you tap for one week on your own independently. The whole call will be recorded. So you'll have all the information on how to do it. It's important that you understand as you do it so that you can let go of that energy, whether it be mental emotional, repressed, imprinted, vibrationally, it makes no difference. You're simply rewiring the brain to release anything that is not serving you or not supporting you. And then as we clear you out, we're going to imprint all that you'd like it to be instead. So there's clearing statements and then there's imprint statements. And the whole time that we do this, it's going to be with spirit. So they will be doing the clearing and the transmutation through it. You're also going to be in a turbine of vibrational energy with the spiritual support. So within that timeline that you're doing this every day that you tap, you're going to be facilitated with the same vibrational supportive energy. OK, we do these uh, containers of light. I do this all the time. Doesn't matter where you live in the world. You still get to come into that vibrational alignment and they, you hold it as you move through it. So it's continually cleared and supported. Um, I've included the circle breath with this as a gift with this call, because when you come to do your tapping and clearing statements, you want to give your body its own flush of what you're holding on to vibrationally that is lowering you. So this is a vibrational alignment breath work that allows you to clear low density energy, low vibratory energy, and move into a higher vibratory space. So that breath work is really beneficial to the tapping. So it's a, uh, I mean, it's great. It's a great program. <laughs> you know, it does what you need it to do. The more you are ready to go, oh yeah, I'm ready to let this go. Um, then the easier it is to release the symptoms, you know, but for the, for whatever it is you are ready to release, you'll release it. It's, it's just, it's a given. It's, that's how it works. And that's how it works for everything, not just for menopause, but anything else that you're holding on to with a limited belief that if you just address how it makes you feel, how it makes you feel in your body and then release it and let it go. So mm -hmm. I'm going to explain it. We're going to get the tapping statements and then I'm going to do activations for the whole call, everyone on the call and let everybody just in their own mind know what they're releasing and allow spirit to come in and lift and clear for you. And like I say, they don't need to know. You don't need to know. It's just being done. That's how they work. So it's a really awesome. good package. And, mm -hmm. and, and this package is, you know, like we we're talking about menopause, right? And, you know, so many of you, I don't think I have had menopause symptoms. I could be wrong. It's like, I could be totally wrong. I could be. You would know. By, by, <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't think I have been. But I know that it is a big thing for a lot of women. And so if, if, if you have been challenged with these menopause symptoms and you're like done, you're like I'm done with this, then you definitely want to work with Donna Marie, whether in package A or package B. And because you don't have to experience this anymore. This is not this is something that you have to be stuck with just because all mm -hmm. of our ancestors, all of our sisters, mothers, every, everybody else did it doesn't mean that we have to. And the thing is when you're working with Donna Marie doing the lifting and clearing and her spirit team, it works. I mean, you can feel the change happening during the process. So it, it, it's not like, it, you know, you, you're going to be shifting in that moment. But, you know, like Donna said, you have to believe that it's possible for you. 
right? Mm. And you have to want it. You have to really want it. I mean, like, do you really want to, you know, continue to have these menopause symptoms? I mean, really, do you want to? It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a question you have to ask yourself because you don't you don't have to have it anymore. And Donna yeah. is a wonderful facilitator. Like I said, I've been working with her since 2019. She's a, a wonderful, experienced, talented um, facilitator, and she will get the stuff done. Like her and her team is like brilliant, amazing. They're so connected. It's amazing, right? And it's like, you know, when I want to work with Donna Marie, I I don't I have no doubts whatsoever. I know that whatever I have my intention for that I want to release and clear and lift and shift is going to happen. And it's, mm. it's, it's great. You know, so, you know, we're talking about menopause, but it's not just about menopause. What else is there that you have been holding on to that you're done with, you know, mm -hmm. because and can I just say something often yeah. when I have done this with other women, very often there's a lot of self-loathing or self-defeating, you know, you get to a certain age in your life, you're looking at what you've lived. You're looking at that. And you're maybe not where you want to be or you want to be somewhere else. And we hold a lot of vibratory resentment and it often goes to our ovaries, our uterus, our heart. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of women get breast cancer. It has nothing to do with the, it's usually the heart. It's emotional, yeah. you know? So it's, uh, people have gone through divorce, angry at their spouse, still holding on to resentment. No, 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 we're good now. But then you, you know, check out the lower and you're like, okay, no, she's not good. <laughs> you know? So we hold things down without knowing. So you know, the beauty of this is they'll come in and clean up what they need to clean up. Also, I'm doing on the second Zoom call when we do the imprinting statements, these statements you want to imprint every night. It takes five minutes before you go to bed, but you're constantly rewiring the brain on, I'm choosing to feel like this now. This is what I'm allowing for now. This is how I'm going to be living now. And you are allowing everything to come in in present time. And I'm going to be doing a visual meditation for the whole group where you're going to visualize exactly how you want to feel and be. We're going to project it forward and then bring it into the present time. So the um, manifestation meditations that I do are, I even say, hate to say that I do because I just, that we do because yeah. I'm just a part of it, a small slice. Yeah. What they come in and facilitate through this to anyone who's willing is pretty much miraculous it really is you know so i'm just there to offer that up to whoever would like to you know yeah, <laughs> receive so, and whatever is going to be supportive to them so donna marie can you share just um briefly just some of the symptoms possible symptoms that people may be experiencing um in menopause that will be cleared lifted shifted? we cover every single one and yeah. if our if there's anything on the list that you are experiencing that is not on my list, I will add it to the list. So I will take the time to, I will tell everybody what is on the list and I'm going to let everybody add whatever they like. And you can do this. You can absolutely tweak it to, you know, I always say this, even when I, when I um, sell the program, I say, here's the list. But if there are symptoms that you aren't having, then you don't have to tap on them. I tapped on all of them because I go, this shows up later on the road. I just don't want, I, I want to be very clear. I'm not accepting any of this. Mm -hmm. But if there are other ones that you are having, then add it to the list. But I'll let everybody, you know, we'll add it to that list so that it can be all there. But you can say, okay, here's the list. And then I'm going to add this and this and this. You can personalize it for yourself. Yeah. yeah and it absolutely. doesn't have, you know, and, and if it's for uh, people who are having menstruation problems too, yeah. you can personalize it for that as well you know yeah, so yeah. it's really to just be cognitive of what the body is experiencing and whether you're aware of what the emotional impact is that is amplifying that physical pain or dis, you know discomfort um it's because it's usually always emotional mm -hmm. so even if we just go in and clear the emotional you know residue and the emotional disappointment you know i was one woman and um, she kept saying, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And then in one session, she started to cry and she's like, I always wanted children. I never had children. And it's too late for me to have children. Mm -hmm. And that was all the push down resentment that she thought that she was okay with it. But then it started to come up as she started clearing it. And I'm like, that's okay. Just let it go. And yeah. then she lifted, she lifted it out. And you know, our lower intestines, like our uterus and our uh, ovaries, this is all where, you know, our, that, that sacral chakra is our creativity. It's where all our creativity is. And we, as women are creative 
naturally mm -hmm. in the way that we think and that we mother or that if we're even if we're not mothers how we are with animals and friends and there's a lot of creativity that we are just born with you know and if it has been repressed in any way it will impact us conscious or subconscious it just i always say if there's a dis-ease there is a disruption in the brain there's yeah. something that is not right and i'm not saying there's something wrong with you let me correct this quickly <laughs> but there is something that is not aligned or everything would be functioning normally yeah you know yeah mm -hmm. yeah awesome good yeah speaking of mothers and babies neo suddenly wants to play it's like um neo <laughs> done yet <laughs> all right so there's still some people that have their hands raised and and questions in the chat so we can just take a few more quick ones yeah. um renee you want to unmute yourself hello everyone hi, hi renee, renee. Um, I heard what you said about metabolism, and I've always been pretty lucky up until the last several years with my metabolism. I've never like really had to exercise or anything, mm. and I've been really one of the lucky ones. Sorry, I know. <laughs> no, don't apologize, honey. You own it. <laughs> but um, so, but that's now no longer really the case, um, and I'm having a lot of trouble getting motivated to exercise um in the past when i have exercised i didn't get a lot of benefit out of it like i'm not one of those people that exercised and i was like oh i feel much better i can tell the difference or you know i just feel so much better i don't it just makes me tired and i don't like to do it mm -hmm. so is there any specific clearing yeah, they're already talking me? hold on they're already okay. talking okay <laughs> so they're saying that um yeah like she's like okay so i've never had to do anything to stay thin still don't want to do anything to stay thin okay so how do i stay thin without doing anything so there's no motivation on your part okay so they're going um you're going to need a little motivation to re-kick start it to me it feels like a re-kick start but what they're saying the first thing they showed me which your body would align to very well and it'd be very good for your meditative state is pilates i don't know if you've ever done pilates but they said, this is something that doesn't feel demanding. It, it's not a strain on the body. You know, your Pilates, if you have the right instructor is done in alignment to where you're physically landed and then you build because it's core. Pilates is core strength. So you, you're working literally from the inside out. So you're coming back to your core strength and you're rebuilding it. So for you, if your core strength was, you always were like that easily, once you come back into that alignment, it'll be a, a game changer. They're saying that it also would be very good on your mental state, Pilates, because it's a quiet exercise. It's a gentle exercise. And we don't see the result of Pilates right away like you will other exercises because it's, it's something that you have to keep doing and doing before you'll get a result. But once you get that result, you can't beat core strength. It's like, then it takes you a long time to undo it. So they're saying that that kind of energy for you is good. They said yoga and they put a question mark beside it, meaning that not every kind of yoga, but a yoga that would be stretching and keeping your muscle, um, what are they calling it? The elasticity of your muscles, nice and long and lean, okay? They're saying that would be good for you. Like a yin yoga is what they're saying. Okay. Something that you pull, you stretch your muscles. So you keep a nice elongation of what you have now. And if you did Pilates with that, they also said swimming is really good for you as well, because that way you get more of a cardio with swimming. But again, it's to the degree in which the difficulty is you choose. <laughs> so you don't have somebody with a shark behind you and you're saying, go, <laughs> you know what I mean? You can mm -hmm. go and you can swim at your leisure. They like, she likes everything at her leisure. They go, but you do need a little boost, a little boost to kind of, they're just going flick the switch back on, reactivate it. But once you reactivate it again, you'll be fine. It's because you've become, because she's become lethargic is the word they're giving me. There's this yeah. lethargy that I'm just like, huh. like, yeah, I'm not happy about it, but I'm not going to do anything about it. And you know what? I don't want to do anything about it. I just want it to be the way it was. It's like, you're in that kind of a head, head space which is yes. fine, you know, let it be that, but know that it's not going to serve you. Right. Mm -hmm. So all the resistance that we did today, maybe go back and we'll play this back again. And, and the part that is any resistance that I'm holding on to. So anything where you're saying, you know, I don't want it to be difficult to come back to how it was. Well, don't choose difficult. Hey, 
guys, I want to come back to how it was and I want it to be effortless. I want my body to just go right back into step to who I was and how I was and allowing my metabolism to come back into the alignment the way it was for me. It's this false belief that now it's, you're going to have to effort your way back that is preventing you from doing anything. Mm -hmm. That's okay. True. Yeah. Yep. So release that <laughs> and just say, no, no, it's not going to be hard for me. It's going to be easy for me. My body's always been like that. So your body has its own natural intelligence and it remembers everything, everything since the day you're born. So you just go back to the time in your life. Oh yeah. Thank you. So they're saying, go back to the time in your life when you felt that you're most fit and visualize that and then tell your body, this is who we are now. This is what we're going back to. I don't always say this and anything better than this because <laughs> you know, why not? And just keep that imagery and dictate to your body how you want it to be now. And that'll be really beneficial for you. But you need to let go of that resistance of this is hard. It doesn't have to be hard. They really are pointing Pilates would be the most beneficial for you because you'd be able to maintain your core strength. But they go, don't give up. You're not going to see any difference. This is before six months. Okay? okay. Just do and do as I do, as I do, it is done. Speed walking is good because you can go at your own pace. They're saying you're going to need a little bit of cardio. Not a lot of cardio. Swimming would be perfect cardio for you, they said. And yoga, if you do yoga, it would be stretching. So any yin, yin yoga, you, you need to quiet your mind to, you know, what's funny is that you're calm, your demeanor is calm, but there's a lot of internal agitation mm -hmm. and it, it tires you. So you want to just see a hole and pour it up, <laughs> just letting it all go. So that would really bring you, keep you centered. And then, you know, yeah, I mean, yeah, the program would be good to you in just allowing it to facilitate what you need. And this is what it is. You know, you take parts of what is going to serve you, let go of the rest and keep those for what you're going to use to keep as your regular practice. And then once you imprint, keep the imprints and use them as your regular practice when you see things go off a little bit. But you, you're just, you're just in this place. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to do anything, but I want a result. <laughs> but you know, right. you have to do something to get a result. Yeah. It doesn't have to be hard. So just tell your body, we're going right back and this is not going to be a problem. This is not going to be hard. There's no efforting on my part. My body knows how to do this. We're just stepping back in. Are they giving, can I get a, a specific answer on for the Pilates? Do I need to seek out like a class or an instructor at a facility or is it something I could do on my own at home? No, instructor. Okay, dang. Yeah. <laughs> because they're going to show you, they're going to lean into your strengths and you like the one-on-one. -on -one. You'll completely, you'll do the for one week and then you're going to stop doing it. They go, no, 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 not a, I'm going to, she won't do it. Okay. You need to be where you have to show up for something and then you're going to show up for it because you're like, even they're watching, I'm seeing you get out and be like, oh. <laughs> but then you go and then you're like, okay, no, I, it's going to be with a woman. You're going to be with a woman and I feel like you're going to get along very well with her. And you'll enjoy her company as much as her capacity to help. And she's a good instructor. Yeah. Good. Something yeah. around your area. It's not going to be hard to find. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That helps a lot. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. The person that you're going to be working with, I feel like she also does sports medicine or she does kind of like physiotherapy and Pilates. Cause I feel like she's also uh, like a, a physiotherapist as well and Pilates teacher. She kind of incorporates, it feels like she incorporates both. Okay. Yeah, but you like the one-on-one, -on -one, so I would definitely go for an instructor. All right. All I'm right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You go, girl. <laughs> awesome. Good. Thank Let you, Let me Renee. know when you get your zing-a-ling back. <laughs> Good. Um, okay. All right. All right. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Neetu, you want to unmute yourself? Go. Yeah, hi, hi. How hi. Are you? Hi. How are you? I'm so I'm fortunate to come doing? on this call. Yeah, yeah, good, great, great. Good. Yeah. How can I help you? I, yeah, darling, uh, you know, it's been uh, 
two, three years, more than maybe two, three years, my periods are like, you know, very, very irregular. Now also after six months, my periods just started for three months. And now this month, nothing happened. Mm. Even I, I don't remember, you know, sometimes I just forget whether it happened or it didn't happen. But it's been like almost two, three years. I've been taking homeopathy. I go for my checkups and everything is fine. I'm yeah. sure this is all internally. But then I am also on a journey of cleaning myself and my healing myself and my body and my mind and soul. I'm doing everything now. But uh, this thing of not irregular periods and all is really, it's not bothering me, but sometimes they come and sometimes they don't. But I have this back of mind that, you know, everything is fine. Or yeah. Not, you know? yeah. And, and, okay. So as you're talking, <clears throat> it's, it's funny, but what I'm getting is like, I'm losing my womanhood. Okay. And there's something that you feel disempowered about not having your period. Okay. And there's uh, what they're saying is there's a lot, almost like a grieving. I feel like there's something inside of you that is grieving the woman who isn't going to be like that anymore. Uh, not fertile, not, I don't know why they're saying desirable. Cause I do feel like you feel like you are desirable, but in almost in a way, like you feel it as uh, I'm, I'm stepping down in my womanhood and they're going, no, it's the opposite. She's stepping up into a higher vibration of her womanhood. Okay. Where she's not being demanded of her duties and moves into her alignment and her awareness. Okay. So this mourning or this grieving, this difficulty, letting that phase of your life be released knowing that okay. it provided you with everything that you needed while you needed it. But it's like you don't need, you know, like you give baby food to a baby, but you don't feed teenagers baby food because they've graduated to other foods. Okay. And so it's the same concept. You know, your body doesn't need this anymore because you're no longer in the childbearing years to build and grow a family. So it's no longer in service to you. And they're saying, okay, so release that and then step into everything that you receive from the understanding of being a woman and then not being distracted by this and moving into a higher they, they just keep me a higher yeah but they're saying yeah. that you almost there's a sadness that i feel for you like i'm losing some of my womanhood and they go you're not you're going you're gaining it's like they keep showing me high priestess energy it's like i'm stepping into my power now because okay? i've i'm just finished with my like i'm doing a soul uh, regression soul meditation for 21 days so i just finished my meditation so maybe that's the reason you're seeing so i'm doing this uh, isis goddess isis oh, meditation for 21 <laughs> days yeah that's what i'm picking up because i'm like look she's moved. look where she's going yeah. you know it's because I'm on a beautiful journey that way. I'm, I'm really yeah. blessed and really grateful for this journey. Yeah. You know, they keep throwing um, rose petals in front of your path. Like we're leading her to who she is. And there's a bit of a, um, it's a grieving that they're saying. It's like, because you, you are letting go of something inside yourself. And it's not just releasing that part of your womanhood. There's a part of you that you are also releasing and it's attached to a life that you knew past tense and you're not in your new life fully yet. So it's kind of like, you're no longer here. You're on the journey towards here, but you haven't mm -hmm. arrived. So it's like, you're in the middle and you're like, eh? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> do, I go yeah. Back? do I go forward? Do I go back? Yeah. And they're like, no, they keep putting the pedals down come this way, come this way, come yes. this way. And as you get to that place and there's never an end destination, honey, let me tell you, expansion, yeah. expansion, expansion. Yeah. But true, the more we true. know, the more there is to know. Yes, yes. You're going to feel more settled, but you have to let yourself settle in. You know, it's like you go into grade six, you're the top of everybody else, but then you go into high school and well, I'm in Canada. So grade six and then high school, seventh grade. And in the US, you've got middle school and then high school is grade nine. But whatever, you were at the top, now you're back at the, the bottom again. You know, you got to work your way back up. It's kind yeah. of like there's a bit of a mourning. So instead of mourning what no longer is, celebrate it. Celebrate okay. everything that came from you being a woman, everything that was realized, all the fulfillment, all the love, all of the joy, and say, I'm going to keep all of that on my journey forward. And I'm just going to move into all that I meant to live and experience and express now 
free of my body having to go through all of this. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah, true. And yeah. also, also, you know, from my husband's side, <laughs> even from my side, from two, three years, there's, there's no, like, sex or something, anything, no intercourse. <laughs> you so, want it? I don't know. Means yes, sometimes, why not? Yeah. <laughs> But I don't know. <laughs> Listen, I'm all about, you know, I feel like as women, a part of our sensuality and sexuality is a part of our power. You know, I love it. I'm a very sensual and sexual person. I always have been so cognitive of it since I was a little girl. And to me, it's a part of my power, you know, to feel and understand how I feel and want to have it and create a feel with someone in union. And that's a very powerful feeling to have for yourself and have with somebody, you know? So, <clears throat> I mean, you could look at it and say, okay, I just like a one quickie, you know, to kind of, Get that but sometimes you want a really expansive connection or just a different kind of connection but uh you know when i watch women let that go i feel like you're letting go of a part of your power that you could keep if you wanted to and if you don't you don't well then by all means you know what you want you know what's going to serve you and go ahead but you know sometimes when we let that go in a relationship you know we're pulling away from each other and we're not feeling that same connection you know so i always say you know the way back to the bedroom is communication You know, you need to talk about what your wants are and your needs and your desires and him as well. And then see what needs to be reprogrammed, you know? Okay. Okay. And do you think this is like uh, leading me to menopause? Like, yeah, that's what it means. Yeah. Okay. Yes, my but, it's, but there's, there's nothing uh, stuck in our or something. It's all releasing, no. right? No, okay. it's just, thank you. And I don't feel like it's going to be difficult for you. It's like, they're showing it like this, like, It's just pithering out and there's no, there's, it's nothing like that. It's just like, no, it's just going like that, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank, you. Smooth, Thank you so much. Feel like it'll just ebb out very, very easily. Okay. Thank you. So do you think still, do I need any package to be taken? Like, or it's okay? Well, if you don't have any symptoms and there's nothing that you need to clear and you're emotionally set, no. Nah. Okay. Thank you. you Thank you so much. You want to take the package to use it to support anything that you think that is holding you back because this is really it's designed for menopause, but you could put anything written right there and write anything below and use the same template to clear limited beliefs and imprint the beliefs that you want. Like once you get the template, you can use it for anything. You know, that's the beauty okay. of having templates. But I mean, you feel to me that you're very clear in your path. You feel like you're rejourneying back to yourself. And I feel like there's a lot of, I feel like celebration in women. So I feel like you're going to be in a circle where there's going to be women and women's support. And um, you're going to embrace the next part of it. But don't look at it as a stepping down. Look at it as a stepping up. You know, you've yeah. earned, you've earned your crown, honey. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Everybody. Wear it. <laughs> God bless. Thank you. Thank you, love. Lots you're welcome. Of love. You're Blessings. Welcome. God bless you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank Blessings. You. You thank too. you. God thank bless you. Blessings. Thank awesome. you. All right, Julie's iPhone. We saw Julie's iPhone. Hello. Hey, Julie. Hi. Hi, Tana. Good, good to see you. <laughs> um, I've been having a lot of um, like um, urine frequency, um, and it's not like a. Um, a urinary tract infection and mm -hmm. so is that possibly like my hormones and menopause this is you know i'm going to tell you this is where exercise when we get older is good for us because our muscles get soft and they get slack right so even mm -hmm. myself i know like if i drink too many liquids at the end of the day i'm gonna be up at night peeing <laughs> and right. i get so pissed literally <laughs> Yeah. because i'm like ah oh, you know like no mm -hmm. and i'm in such a good sleep and then i'll be like no no uh -uh. i'm gonna hold it i'm gonna hold it and hold it. and then i'll just like oh, get out of bed it's like i'm mad and i was like all right all right you win so it is normal i mean you know like you think of it for whatever your age is all of your organs have been functioning for you for that amount of time you know if you have been doing everything to support your health and well-being then everything should be working fine but if you're not And I'm going to tell you something, <clears throat> the biggest factor in a debilitating health is stress. 
stress has an impact on the body, on the psyche, and on our organs like no illness or disease. Actually, it's the creator. Stress is the incubator for illness and disease. Yeah. So I would say to you, to everybody on this call, be mindful also of the stress that you go to bed with, what you hold in your head at night. So this on this package, you have the uh, circle breath, okay? This is a free gift. So everybody gets this. Please, please, please use that to clear and release everything you're holding on to vibrationally. So your day, your energy, the words, the feelings, the conversations, the emotions, everything that I have that is taking space within me, that does not serve me, that does not support me, safe to bless it, heal it, clear it, transmute it, release it and let it go. And as I let it go, I allow every single organ to come into perfect balance, perfect alignment and perfect attunement for me and allowing my own body's intelligence to instruct everything now to regenerate and reboot and replenish and heal throughout the night. There are so many things that we can do to allow the body to be fully activated in a very high vibration that will not only induce sleep, deep sleep, asking your body to wake up feeling refreshed and invigorated and rested. So <clears throat> when we clear out our vibration, we're giving our body permission to let go. Mm -hmm. And then you just say, and now I just align to this and I allow my body to sleep with that for the amount of hours that you have left to sleep that night. So stress is a big impactor on our physical form, okay? Mental stress and the mental wheel. Like I just, I, I think of it, you remember the video cassettes that used to put in the cars? You know, and I think of it as like, take that tape out. You're like, mm, my whole day, like, done. Yeah. done. And now I will just rinse myself with golden light energy, divine light energy, crystalline energy. And I will ask for every single cell to be reactivated. So in this, in this program, actually, the, the activation meditation that I'm doing at the end, it's all for cellular renewal, cellular reactivation, and integrating the five Ds. So there are sun codes that we have been getting for the last year and a half. We've got major sun codes that came in with our solstice and they are, we are being uploaded and reintegrated in our own. So our own sun codes are being activated. So in that meditation, I apply and integrate all of that so that you can listen to this every night. And again, allow it to just do whatever it's meant to do on you. So we all have different needs. So I always just say, whatever is in alignment for me, whatever is meant and appropriate for me, whatever my body can serve, you know, like it's to hold what we can hold until we can hold more. You have to be really careful that you don't overdo anything because too much is as, as bad as not enough. You know, it's just allow for what is meant for me, allow for what will support me, nothing else. So, you know, these are all things that can help you, but for sure, peeing it is a part of the aging process. <laughs> <laughs> and again, you could actually, you know, I'm thinking of this and I'm going, oh, I'm going to try this now because I don't want to get up in the night and pee. So I should be actually clearing that for myself. So I'm going to try that okay? because I don't want to do that anymore either. So you've just made me become aware of something that I should be canceling out. Like, thank you. <laughs> so right. take the program. We're going to add the peeing in it. That, awesome. that doesn't have anything to do though. It's, this is just, you know, the body's letting, you know, the organs, everything is softening. I mean, you know, use your, your stomach as a perfect example. You know, you get up in the morning. I always say I can only have sex in the morning now because in the morning I got, yeah, I look good. And at night it's like, oh my God, I look like six months pregnant. <laughs> this is not sexy at all. You know, our muscles soften and relax at mm -hmm. the end of the, during the course of the day, even you'll feel it in your clothes or your pants. If you were get up in the morning, you feel nice and tight. And at the end of the day, everything is feeling really tight on you. It's our muscles that have softened. If you haven't been taking care of them, if you haven't been exercising, you're gonna go and see that. <laughs> so it's not just what's happening to our skin, what we're seeing on the outside, it's also happening to our organs on the inside. So, you know, being physically active and maintaining your health, eating well, that's gonna be now in alignment to what your metabolism is at this stage of your life. That's just a smart thing to do, period, for everybody. So that you age with all your health, you know, and not age. I just say that you continue living. I don't even like to use the word age. You continue living with all of your health and dictate, dictate how you'd like it to be. Yep. All right. Okay. Thank you.
much. You're very welcome. You're welcome, Julie. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. And that's, I, I love what you just said right now. It's about living. It is about living. It's not about aging. And we can, you know, live with vitality. We can live with radiant health. That is a possibility for all of us. And we can live with ease in our monthly cycle or, you know, day-to-day -day everything. Mm -hmm. You know, like we don't have to struggle. We don't have to be burdened with, you know, old patterns, old paradigms. We don't. We get to no, choose. No, we don't. Now. Yeah. And it's, it, sometimes we choose it and we don't realize that we chose it. You know, yeah. I remember uh, growing up, my older sister had heavy periods and she got her period before me. I was actually really late in getting my period. I was almost 17 by the time I got my period. And I watched her go through it. And it just, there was nothing about it that even seemed interesting to me. And maybe that's why I was later. I was just like, mm, I don't want this. <laughs> 17. And it, wow. And by the, yeah. And by the time it came, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing what she's doing. Like mine is going to be easy. And I had three day periods like wow. my whole life. And it was, I'm sure I didn't realize at that time that I had just already made a cognitive decision, like just watching her stuff. I'm like, yeah, that won't be me. Yeah. And I yeah. never had any pain or anything, you know? So, you know, now I understand now <laughs> what my mindset was and what I was not going to allow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure I pushed it back until I couldn't. Wow. My body came as like, no, you're getting your period whether you want it or not. But that it was super awesome. smooth and easy. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, this whole program is really about mindset and yeah. it follows the theme of all the work that I do, that your mind is your power tool if you're using it correctly. And it's your disempowerment tool if you are not. And it's so to become mindful of your thoughts and your words because they create your reality and they create how you're going to react to your reality. So, you know, mm -hmm. start with the head. The head is what's dictating to you know, the nervous system that goes through meridian points and then it goes to all of the organs and then the body is just following yeah. the direction of the signal that you're giving. So it's by default. So yeah. instead of living by default, live cognitively, choose and, and consciously how you want it to be. And yeah, and then set a different precedence for yourself. Set a result that you want to see and not one that you're fearing, you know? And it's, it's, and it's also about, you know, when you're starting to choose for yourself, you're also modeling for other people around you as well, right? For so sure. So other people around you, they don't have to, you know, have menopause symptoms or anything else that they don't want either once they see you doing it they're like what what is she doing how did she do that i want i want to do that too it opens yeah. them up to receiving more and choosing differently for themselves as well um i just want to ask this one quick question angela was asking so if you pull the plug we talked about pulling the plug earlier does bottling it up lead to other issues like increased cellulite and swollen lymph, lymph nodes if you pull the plug on what what do you what does she mean I, I can't remember what we were talking about, but I think it's like, if you pull the plug, like if you say you're not going to have sex anymore, right? You've pulled the plug. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right. if she believes that, that's exactly what's going to happen to her. <laughs> there you go. She just says, yeah. no, I'm pulling the plug and there will be no side, there will be no side issues. I'm going to continue to be like, da, 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 da. she can decree however she'd like it to be. And then she, but she has to believe it. She has to yeah. hold her mindset to, I'm not accepting anything else. And if a, a symptom shows up, you need to clear it and cancel it and then re-imprint it with what you want. But um, it, yeah. again, it's this, well, if I don't do that, I'm gonna get this. So I think I'd rather, you know, well, don't have either. Like yeah. both of them out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's again, people not understanding the power of their mind and that they get to choose. And then I'm telling you, look, you can choose. And then they're like, no, no, no. <laughs> Cause it says I can, I'm like, well, I'm saying you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they're telling me you can. And I, I see it for myself, you know, I've seen it for, all the clients that I work with, it's really a mindset that needs to shift in order for you to shift the result. But if you're in at a hundred percent and you allow it, then the body has no choice but to follow your belief system. And so you'll get that result by default. Yeah. You so know? what, so, so that's the question. What result do you want? Do you want to be menopause free without mm. any symptoms or do you want to have symptoms and be uncomfortable and discomfort and all that wonderful mm -hmm. stuff? What, what do you want? Right. You know, and I was going to say something, there's something that you need to be aware of too, because I've seen this also in working with others that um, sometimes people will hold on to something because it gives them an out mm -hmm. for some things. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's like this one woman and she's got these wicked migraines and they always showed up when she had to go to her husband's family for Sunday suppers. <laughs> and her out was, I can't because of my migraine. Now she didn't want to go to the dinners. Yeah. 
So she created the physicality that was her excuse and there was absolute proof of it. Look at her, she's on the floor, she's a mess. Okay, we're gonna leave her here, we're gonna go. Yeah. And so she allowed for that because there was a facil it facilitated something for her, it got her out of something. Yeah. And so, you know, um, if the wife, believe, like I said, the husband's always after the wife, after the wife, and she's like, eh, 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 eh. and then she's like, I can't, <laughs> like, I'm dried up, I'm a prude, go away. You know, she'll use that as an excuse, she will. I've yeah. seen it, you yeah. know? Yeah. And then you say, well, don't do that. Don't take away your joy and your pleasure you know, again, address the issue that is not being addressed and don't lose out on it as a result of it. So, you know, again, it's, it's seeing when things are there, you know, and you're saying, well, why would I want this? And you go, well, maybe you get a lot of attention. Or maybe mm -hmm. people check in on you. Maybe somebody brings you soup. Like maybe mm -hmm. it serves you in other ways that you're not even cognitive. You're not even aware of but it does, you know, yeah. and say, well, what if you give yourself permission to be receiving and loving and get, getting that same attention without having to go through that to get it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So that's a great question to ask yourself. You know, what, what am I holding on to? What am I getting from continuing to be this way by choosing this experience? What am I getting? And mm -hmm. is it really something you want, right? Is it mm -hmm. really something you want? Is it really serving you? Exactly. Or, or is something else possible, right? Yeah, um, I think you always want to step into your highest vibratory alignment because it allows for everything else. Yeah. You know, when everything is in alignment, you are in a higher vibration alignment for all other things in your life, the abundance of all other areas of your life. So any place where you have the ability to be doing something for yourself, I would, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. So so as you say that, you know, like, again, th this package with Donna Marie is something like if there's something within you that you are willing to let go of now, willing to release, it doesn't have to be just menopause, it could be something else as well. If you're willing to really let that go and believe that something else is possible, and you get to choose what that something else is, then this mm -hmm. is the program that you want to work with with Donna Marie, um, the lifting and clearing or the lifting and shifting the, the clearing and the imprinting is powerful. And then, you know, you get to do some of the work on your own and it's really important that you do. But at the same time, you're going to be in a container of support for that full time as well. So, you know, Donna Marie's team and your team are gonna work with you to assist you in really doing the shifting and lifting, right? Lifting and clearing. I'm getting the words mixed up, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I mean, when is the first uh, Zoom call, Donna Marie? I forget. Oh, yes, I wrote it down because I go, I know she's going to ask me this. Uh, <laughs> I believe it is. Yes, here it is. June 8th is the maybe, first one. Maybe July 8th. July 8th is the first one. <laughs> <laughs> we're going back in time. So we're going to erase everything that just happened. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. July 8th and July 22nd. So I give everybody a two week door to make sure that they tap on it. So they're going to get the statements. It takes 10 minutes to do. You yeah. can do it in the morning or you can do it at night. doesn't matter when you do it, but you want to do it. Be, like once we do the clearing with the team, everything has already been imprinted and then they're just going to carry that energy through by keeping the circular, the energy flow moving. Okay. Yeah. And then when we come back in two weeks time, you know, we get to get a little scope on how much has lifted and how much has cleared. It's, you know, you, you haven't had, unfortunately, a full month, so you don't get to see, you know, normally it takes 21 days to see a lift and shift. Mm -hmm. However, it's all changing now with the speed of energy moving. And they're always saying the minute you release it, it's gone, unless you bring it back into your space again, and then you have to do it again. So things are clearing so much faster than they were even just a month ago. I mean, they're clearing faster every day now. The, I don't know if you've noticed that the energy is speeding up, speeding up, speeding yeah. up. It's like going so fast. Absolutely. So um, yeah, so it's July 8th. We do the class. So it'll be like an introduction explaining how it works. And then we're going to do the tapping statements all together. And anyone can add their own statements to that. And then we're going to come back for the second Zoom call. And then we're going to do the imprint statements of how you want your body to be. And you can add anything else you want to include in that because it doesn't matter what you want to add to it. We're going to be imprinting with spirit. And then we're going to be doing the visual meditation where you're going to visualize how you want to see, feel, look, and be. And mm -hmm. you're going to hold the vibration of that. And you can get to listen to that, you know, every night when you go to bed. So 
whatever you're holding on to vibrationally is impacting your your body as you sleep and so you wake up with that energy in you all the time the body is being mirrored to this is how you're going to look now this is how you're going to look now this is how you're going to look now <laughs> <laughs> like okay i love so. it I, I just wonder what you know you know just having that um you know the energy i'm getting is relief you know it's like when you're not having those symptoms anymore or when you know you're suddenly feeling like you have more vitality like for renee or feeling more motivated you know mm-hmm. <laughs> not feeling lethargic or whatever right i wonder well, it's what else sluggishness it's hard yeah. you know but again when there's problems down there, it's because there's problems in the head, you know, it's the two things that are associated. So when mm-hmm. you clear out and clean out, you know, and if you have digestive issues, you know, like I was talking about with Caroline, like, you know, go and see a naturopath and get your blood work done, see what elimination you can do for yourself that could be creating inflammation in the, in your body, you know, that's going to help for sure. But I mean, just the hormonal imbalances, I mean, rebalance them. You yeah. Know? yeah. And that's a, that's an easy fix. Well, not easy, but it might have to take some adjustments, but it can be fixed. It, it can be changed. Right. Yep. And, and that's the thing. All of this, all the stuff that we've been talking about today, you know, there's a possibility for something different for you to experience something different. So what is it that you want to experience? And just know that that's possible for you. Really know mm-hmm. it and believe it. That's possible because it is. It's a matter of reprogramming your mind reprogramming your brain and that happens with the clearing and the imprinting and it's mm-hmm. yeah it works it works wonders so it is it's something that i mean if i could work with donna marie every month i would but i oh, thank so you. swamped all the time that i just like i can <laughs> but i talk to donna marie all the time and so i know i get a boost every time i talk to her <laughs> right yeah yeah no good but They're the lifting good. but the lifting and clearing and the messages and information and wisdom that your team gives through you is really really helpful i mean you know as you know we talked last week and you know my whole life is changing as you know so it's like yeah stuff is happening <laughs> right um i know <laughs> so yes it's it great. works right the lifting and clearing plus all the wisdom from her team it works so i highly recommend that you um purchase one of the packages and like i said if you don't have menopause or you don't think it's menopause it could be something else like it could be your abundance blocks it could be your money blocks it could be you know not feeling passionate about life you know Mm -hmm. it could be you know direction in your life moving forward like whatever that happens to be it can be changed and you can experience something different okay whatever it is that you want it is it really is the shift and you know in the last year and a half when they started having me do they started making me they started doing the lift and shifts through me on the telesummits because we had short windows of time they're like just hold that vibration we're coming in and then they tell me after because they'd be they would vocalize what they did and then after they say oh and we did this and this and this and this and this i was like wait wait what why didn't you say that oh you didn't need to know yeah <laughs> you're like oh and then we did that that, that. and then and then then they stopped even telling me they go it doesn't matter you don't need to know what we're doing we're just doing what we need to do but their message always, 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 and they say it to me all the time, and they say, remind everybody, they want to bring everyone back to their full alignment, because mm-hmm. when they're in their full alignment, they're in their full power. When you are in your full power, you're connected with your soul's purpose, and what you, whatever you came to live, be, express, and experience, you're here for this. So whatever is stopping, blocking, or preventing that, they're trying to get everyone back in their alignment, because you being you will make a difference mm-hmm. yeah. we're not here by default and so yeah. they, they're taking every chance they get to clean everybody up and bring them back to their center where they can then move in connection to their truth their wisdom their power that's the only road out i don't care what any other person tells you it's not going to come from an outside source it's going to come from within you got to go back in to retrieve from it, you know, and this is what they're trying to do. They'll come in and take whatever time they can get and help readjust people Mm -hmm. back. And it's to be aware that, you know, your power is dependent on you. No one's going to just hand it to you and you go, here you go. It's to be, you know, stand up and claim what is yours, align to what is yours, connect. So the resonance is yours. It belongs to you. It's not someone else's words, it's yours. 
And this is where we are in a time where we are meant to be reclaiming our empowerment because we have something within us that is meant to be lived and expressed in this timeline because of who we are. Because of who we are and because we chose to be here at this time specifically. And so exactly. it really is important for all of us to come back and look at, you know, come back to our heart space and add and remember and reaffirm that, yes, I chose to be here. So if I chose to be here at this time, then you know what? I'm going to do what lights me up. I'm going to have the experiences that bring me joy. I'm going to have experiences that bring me ease, not dis-ease, not discomfort, not struggle. Enough. Mm -hmm. That story is done. Right? It is. But yeah. we have to let it go. Yeah, that story is done. It's like, time to let it go. Dipped yeah. in it in the last year and a half, like so much disorder, discord, disconnect confusion that has left us very drained you know so i mean i understand why everybody is where they're at but at the same yeah. time it's to remind them that you got the power to come back yeah you hold yeah. the power exactly so you know use your power for yourself you know for your community for the for humanity for the planet but first mm -hmm. of all first and foremost do what brings you joy do what lights you up do what brings you ease and, you know, if you're having issues with that, then, you know, let Donna Marie and her team support you in shifting and imprinting, lifting and clearing, et cetera. It makes a difference. It, 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 it works. So um, the packages, again, are available at alara.at4 slash show4 slash Donny6, D-O-N-N-Y-6. The first call, again, is on July 8th. So, you know, you have until then, really, but you want to get started earlier with the circle breath um video plus um the tapping statements that she'll send to you the time. tapping statements I'm, I'm getting them my girl to put them in pdf and she says i'll have them for you by tomorrow so i do have the email of the statements yeah. but i really want to bring in the statements with the zoom call so that everyone knows how to use it but as soon as i get the pdf i'm going to send it out to everybody but i would actually i mean you can yeah. start on it right away but i would wait until they clear everything lift this kind of like you know don't bring all your furniture into the house and there's old furniture and garbage like let's clean everything out of the house yeah exactly. clean it all up and then bring in the furniture that you want you know i always like doing it the way it should be done sometimes Absolutely. people are in a rush and i'm like yeah this is no good doesn't work like, eh, you can do properly. <laughs> so it's like i'm not giving it away until it comes with the zoom because well, then you're going to get it properly and then you know how to apply it yeah. you know I mean, that's what I said in the email, you know, it's like, you'll get the PDF statements um, before the Zoom call, right? Because that's mm -hmm. really when you're going to need it. But even exactly. before that, as soon as you purchase the package, you're already being included in the container of vibrational support. So, you know, it started with this call. There you go. Yeah, so it's already set. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. You know, okay. So whoever doesn't take the package, they're still, they've still been facilitated through this call and whichever way they needed to be yeah so brilliant awesome thank you all right You're so welcome. um i know we i think we got most of the questions um but that but we, we are at two hours now so <laughs> we are a half an hour late we <laughs> We said we're keeping awesome. it to 90 minutes. I know, but it's, it's awesome. It was great. It was wonderful. So I just want to thank Donna Marie and her team for being here. I want to thank all of you for all of your questions and comments and feedback. It's a, this is a huge topic. This is a huge, huge topic. And we don't have to buy into the story anymore of having to experience things that we don't want to. We don't have to buy into that anymore, right? So um, just know that. And it's it's possible for you to experience something else, something different. You can be part of the 10% who does not experience menopause symptoms, or you can be part of the, I don't know what percentage who chooses their own reality. Okay. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I try and do. I try and choose, yeah. what do I want? You know, what am I going to choose? What works for me? What lights me up? What brings me joy? I'm choosing that. What brings me ease? That's the biggest one for me. Ease. What brings me ease? I choose that. All right. So what are you choosing and what do you want? Okay. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Donna Marie. This was wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for everybody who showed up. Very happy to have you all here. Happy to be able to share what it is that I've come to understand and in any way that I can facilitate for anyone else. I'm just happy to be doing it. So thank you for being here. Thank you for taking the time from your day and being present. And for everyone who comes on the replay, please, please know this is so important because they say this all the time. 
they will still get the energy that will serve them and support them. The vibration will still be there. It doesn't matter how long you go back and listen to them, mm -hmm. that vibrational support is still there. So often yeah. I get calls from people who were never on the call and said this and this and this took place. And I'm like, huh. Good. Oh. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, that was another thing I, I meant to say earlier. Please share this video podcast with your friends and family so that they know that something else is possible for them too, right? Mm -hmm. it's, you know, they don't realize that maybe, maybe they don't have to suffer. Maybe they don't have to struggle. Maybe they don't have to they have don't. all this stuff, right? So please share, please share as well because they need to know, all right? So thank you, thank you so much, everyone. Until next time, may you continue to be blessed with an abundance of joy, peace, love, happiness, prosperity, and radiant health. Sending you all much love and blessings always. Bye for now. Bye, honey. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Alara.